our lives changed completely and totally forever. Developing overnight, an announcement by the family of a school shooting victim, the decision they had to make for their 16-year-old daughter. March for Our Lives rallies happening all across the country this weekend, including right here on the Sun Coast this morning. We're speaking to participants heading over to Washington and also an organizer for the Sun Coast March for Our Lives rally. And a rescue caught on camera. How police were able to rescue a woman that was trapped under her bed for six days. We've got that strange story later on this hour. Good Morning Sun Coast starts right now. You're watching Good Morning Sun Coast at 5. Trapped? under her bed for right? six days. I wish I could get trapped in my bed for six days. <laughs> yeah. I would I would enjoy that solid six days out there. <laughs> Some days that a morning yes. that morning alarm comes fast, yes. doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. Good morning 501. It's Friday. I'm Ray Collins and I'm Stephanie Webb. Thanks for waking up and joining us right here on Good Morning Sun Coast. Let's get the weekend forecast. Now here's the expert meteorologist John Scalzi. And it's a good one. Good. Yes, I love a to hear great that. Great weekend to be trapped in bed. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's my opinion. We're looking at temperatures across the region slightly cooler than yesterday. Still cool, crisp mornings in the forecast right straight through the weekend. But, you know, we're going to see a warm up in the afternoon that'll make it all worthwhile. And I don't mind cool, crisp mornings. Uh, 52 degrees, Sarasota, 57 degrees in Bradenton, 52 in Venice. This is about a seven degree uh, difference in temperature over the last 24 hours. We're cooler by about seven degrees compared to where we were at this time yesterday. Uh, Titan radar, quiet. Don't expect any rainfall this weekend. It's going to be a dry weekend. And here you go. Are you ready? This afternoon, temperatures climbing to about 71 degrees, full sunshine, low relative humidity, winds are calmer. It doesn't get any better than this. Doesn't get any better. So there you go. That's your forecast for today. We'll talk about the weekend forecast, which frankly, I lied. It gets better yeah. as we head into the weekend. That coming up in a minute. All right. Nice talking to you. Let's check the roads right now. An ongoing construction project there at I-75 and 64. Be aware of that. Also on Manatee Avenue as you head westbound toward downtown Bradenton. A little blip there on the screen by the River Walk. We'll talk about that in a few minutes as well. 301 northbound by 70. And checking farther south now into the uh, Sarasota County region. Getting into Lakewood Ranch, a little blip there on the screen as you head toward Lakewood Ranch Boulevard. Also 301 northbound by Newtown. And then checking our final maps. Little thing there on Clark Road as you leave the interstate in the top left corner of your screen. Otherwise pretty clear at 5.02 on this Friday morning. Well, history being made this weekend all across the country. Organizers are expecting millions to take part in hundreds of rallies all over the world to help bring more awareness to gun violence and the need for better gun laws. Now, students from Stoneman Douglas High School in Broward County are spearheading the March for Our Lives. The school stepped up security measures later this week with state troopers now at every campus entrance after a few separate incidents at the school this week and last. All that, of course, in the wake of last month's mass shooting there. It could be one of the largest marches in history with people turning out in Washington, D.C. and more than 800 other cities and countries all the way from California to Japan. And, of course, some of Sarasota's very own are participating in March for Our Lives rallies tomorrow. Marla, Marla Spence is live from Rena Jack, where a rally is taking place this weekend. Marla, good morning. Good morning, guys. This morning, so many people across the Sun Coast are packing their bags and getting ready to head over to Washington for that march that's uh, expected to draw close to 50,000 people. We spoke to Julie Sullivan, the chief operating officer of Girls Inc., and she tells me her group is going to Washington this weekend. She tells me gun violence and school safety is their top priority concern and their reason for their visit to Washington. She says Girls Inc. staff and students want to make sure that they are in D.C. to support the victims of Parkland and to witness the change that could happen and the change that has already started to happen in the state of Florida when it comes to school safety and also gun violence. She tells me most of her girls going to the rally in D.C. are in high school and she says uh, this year the shooting in Parkland hit close to home for her students. Girls Inc. inspires girls to be strong, smart and bold and there's really no other um, better example of the modern day strong, smart and bold than these kids that have put together a courageous, courageous modern day example of this. And so we want to be there to support that. Um, Girls Inc. Sarasota is there on their side. 
and Girls Inc. Sarasota. They will be leaving out of Sarasota and heading over into Washington later on tonight, coming on coming up at 530. Uh, we're going to be talking to an organizer of a rally, March for Our Lives rally that will be happening right here in Sarasota here at Marina Jack. And we'll be speaking to her on her stance and why she's supporting and organizing this year's rally. Reporting live in Sarasota, I'm Marla Spence for ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Okay, Marla, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Meantime, the ride sharing company Lyft wants to support these rallies. They're offering free rides to people going to March for Our Lives events across the country. That includes five in Florida, Tampa, Orlando, Parkland, Miami, and Jacksonville. The company says its co-founders support the civic engagement that the students have inspired. Today, the Manatee County School Board will hold a special meeting to discuss concerns surrounding a bus driver who's been convicted of soliciting a prostitute. Bradenton Police arrested 50-year-old Jerome Heaven in an undercover operation last year. He was convicted back in February, but a month later, he is still employed by the district. Now, the school district itself says Heaven hasn't been around students since that conviction. Instead, he's been washing dishes and doing desk work. But school officials say they have tried to fire him, but the State Division of Administrative Hearings over return their decision. We'll be tracking this story and other news throughout the day on our app. You can find it in the App Store under My Sun Coast or WWSB. Developing overnight, outrage is growing after the police shooting of an unarmed man in California. Protesters filled the streets of the state capitol chanting Black Lives Matter. They stopped traffic even blocked the entrance to a basketball game. Now they're demanding to know why a man was shot and killed while holding only a cell phone. ABC's Diane Macedo has the latest. His life matters! His life matters! Overnight protesters are calling for justice in Sacramento. They murdered him! They murdered him! Hundreds of people locked arms around the Golden One Center, delaying the start of the Kings NBA game and shutting down Interstate 5. They're protesting the death of Stefan Clark after video was released showing the unarmed man being shot by police. Investigators say it started when neighbors called 911, reporting a man breaking car windows, then hiding in a backyard. Video from the police helicopter shows someone running and hopping a fence. All I can tell is he's got a hoodie on. He's looking into another car. Seconds later, you see police approaching Clark at his grandmother's house. Good, good, good. Police say they fired 20 rounds because Clark advanced toward them, holding what they believed to be a gun and that they feared for their safety. But he was only holding a phone. My baby was shot so many times. He was shot. Investigators say they found three damaged vehicles and a shattered sliding glass door, which they believe Clark is responsible for. I hear folks talking about he was doing something that wasn't like criminal. He was breaking windows. How do we know that? The police didn't even have the opportunity to identify if he was a suspect. Also adding to the outrage, shortly after the shooting, the officer's body cams went silent while talking to a supervisor. A spokesman for the police department tells the Sacramento Bee newspaper there are a variety of reasons why officers have the opportunity to mute their body-worn cameras. Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. All right, we have more information this morning. Developing the family of a school shooting victim has decided to take her off life support. Jaylene Willie was shot, of course, in the head during Tuesday's school shooting at Great Mills High School in Maryland. Her family decided to take her off life support overnight since doctors said she isn't expected to make it. Now, Wiley was the second oldest in a family of nine. She was also on their school swim team. My daughter was hurt by a boy who shot her in the head. And, 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 and took everything from our lives. And of course, in that school shooting, it was actually Gaskin Rollins, a 17-year-old. He opened fire in the hallway of that school, shooting Wiley and another 14-year-old boy before engaging in a round of gunfire with a school resource officer. Now, police say it is not clear whether or not Rollins was killed by the officer shot or if he committed suicide. Now, the male victim in that case was released from the hospital. The lawyer for the brother of the Broward County shooting suspect says the bond Zachary Cruz is being held on is unjust. Zachary Cruz's lawyer claims he already paid the standard $25 bond for a misdemeanor and he should not be kept in custody. But a judge has set a $500,000 bond for Cruz. Cruz's lawyer calls the newer bond excessive and says Zachary Cruz did not kill 17 people at the high school. 
The younger brother was arrested Monday for trespassing at Stoneman Douglas High School. He says he just wanted to go there and, quote, soak it in. Well, the deadline for a health study involving cancer claims in Bayshore High School is fast approaching. For the past four months, the Florida Department of Health in Manatee County has been collecting patient information forms for the Bayshore High School health study. Now, health officials have mailed out more than 25,000 letters to the last known addresses of current and former faculty members as well as students. The deadline to submit all of your information to the health department is next Friday. Officials say one final report on the study will be out later on this year. And later on this morning, Manatee Memorial Hospital is letting people know that they are having problems with their phone lines. They want you to know if you do need to reach the hospital right now, you're asked to call the number that is right there on your screen. And right outside the hospital doors, the city of Bradenton is moving forward with plans to expand its popular river walk. Last night, planners shared the results of a survey involving about 1,000 people about the Riverwalk extension. Those conducting the survey say findings include people's love of nature and scenery, social interaction, and their desire to volunteer to help with this expansion project any way they can. The executive director of the project says the current Riverwalk has worked out so well, they're looking forward to expanding farther east. We can um, expect something that's similar but different than the current Riverwalk. I'm personally hoping for public art, the history postcards, a lot of opportunity for people to sit, reflect, and engage in health and wellness. Plans for this project should be ready by the summer, and the expanded Riverwalk in Bradenton is expected to be finished within two years. Okay, 511 right now. Spring training is winding down here on the Sun Coast. Here's a live look right now at Ed Smith Stadium, where the Orioles will play the Tampa Bay Rays today at 105. The O's will have their last spring training home game tomorrow night against the Twins at 605. That's we'll right. be there. And we're going to be there. And you were at a game yesterday afternoon, right? Yes, I learned the value of sunblock on 100% of your face. Uh, I feel like you said 99% and there was yes. 1% that got burned. This part <laughs> right there is red as an orange. Red as an apple, rather. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Put a little vinegar on it. That's what my grandma oh, always suggests. you think so? You that smell like a salad, but it works. That'll sting. 512 <laughs> right now. Still ahead. We'll have first alert traffic and some Sarasota residents are taking on City Hall. We'll tell you how they're trying to prevent a new mandate that would change the name of their street. And coming up a little later in the hour, police rescued an elderly woman that was trapped underneath her bed for six days. We're going to tell you exactly what happened. We've got this story. But first, here's a live look at the New York skyline. Beautiful morning out there. A little chillier than it is here today. But we are in for a great day and great weekend. Right, John Scalzi? Absolutely. It's going to be lovely today. Um, one of the indications of the really dry air that's in place is the fire danger index, which is high in both Manatee County and in Charlotte County. Sarasota has escaped it, but uh, those two counties in particular have high fire danger today. We're looking at a temperature trend you're going to like. These are low temperatures and it doesn't do anything but go up over the course of the weekend. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. I actually started playing the game at 11 years old, so I started a little bit later than most players. But I was actually raised on Fighting Joe. The value here at Robert Trent Jones is unsurpassable. I mean, I have looked to other places. I've traveled all the way across the country. Everything is perfect as far as everything is the golf course, the rolling of the greens. Everything that I've encountered has just been absolutely incredible. And for the money that you spend, for the value that you actually get, it is unsurpassable. I'd recommend it for anybody. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. 
I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Now your ABC7 first alert weather. Meteorologist John Scalzi. 52 degree air temperature. A little cooler than it was 24 hours ago with a dew point value lower still at 37. Theoretically, that's how cold our temperature would drop, could drop. It won't get lower than 37 degrees, the dew point, but that's not going to happen. Still, we will see some uh, temperatures across the region that will dip into the 40s, and I think even our downtown Sarasota temperature will probably finish off at 49, 47 degrees, certainly possible. We're looking at a uh, north-northeast wind coming in a little bit lighter at about 6. Winds today will be a little bit lighter than they were 24 hours ago. So if you wanted to go out to the beach today, should be a beautiful day to do it. That's for sure, especially in the afternoon as temperatures kind of rebound from these cooler morning lows. 52 Sarasota, 48 degrees in Lakewood Ranch, 46 in Parrish. Bradenton coming in at 47. We have uh, 53 degrees in Inglewood, 52 in Venice. And then we get into the colder air. Becky and old Mayaka just called me up and said, what's going on? It's 38 degrees at her house right now. 30, uh, 46 degrees in Mayaka City, 45 in Arcadia, and 46 in Wachula. So some pretty chilly temperatures around. We get up at 7 o'clock to about 50 degrees. By 12 noon, we're at 64. Well on the way to a daytime high that's at 71, warmer than yesterday. The warm-up starts today and carries on right straight through the weekend. We'll get to 65 as the sun begins to wane as we head into the 7 p.m. hour, and we'll be looking for an overnight low tonight that'll be slightly warmer, but still cool and crisp. Future cast looks like this. Winds out of the north coming in, 46 degrees in Parrish, dropping down into the uh, uh, 40s overnight again tonight, or 50s, I should say. Uh, the temperature by 12 noon in the mid 60s as we head into the 3, 4 o'clock hour. We're in the 70s. And then as we head into the nighttime and overnight, we drop back down into the 50s. But I don't think we'll see a whole lot in the way of 40s across the region tomorrow morning. We certainly will be in the lower 50s, though. So Titan radar not showing a drop of rain around the entire state, nor will you today or tomorrow or the day after or the day after that. It's going to be dry for an extended period. Maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday next week, we might get an isolated shower because of another weak front kind of coming in in a backdoor fashion. That's going to really be a very weak one, though. Lots of dry air across the uh, across the state right now. That's indicated here by these tan colorizations. So. That means sunshine right straight through the weekend. Wear a sunscreen, Ray. Yeah. Looking at a north wind coming in at about 5 to 10. Should be a beautiful boating day. Winds light or at least lighter right straight through the weekend. And the seven-day forecast looks like this. We'll have a daytime high today of 71. Tomorrow, 76. Sunday, budding 80. And then as we head into the week ahead, I think we pretty much stay in the 80s all week long. Back to you. All right, thanks, John. We are liking the look of those numbers, and we're also liking the look of traffic outside. First layer of traffic this morning. Those roads are looking pretty decent. Not too much to see out there. Not too much red on the maps around this time of the morning. The whole area looks pretty decent. Not too big incidents or anything like that to tell you of. That is your first alert traffic at 519. All right, back to the news now. Some Alta Vista residents in Sarasota are teaming up to fight City Hall. They've been told their street name has to change from Novus Place to Nova Street. 
Neighbors say changing it now would cost them money, time, and aggravation. But the city says it never should have been called Nova's Place in the first place. It's actually platted as a street. Um, the property appraiser's office notes it as a street. Our city map notes it as a street. Our city code notes it as a street. So how did it first get called a place then? I don't have any idea. Why, should, why do we have to go through all these problems? Because of somebody down in City Hall. Well, the neighbors plan to approach city commissioners about changing the city code so they can keep their name of Novus Place. Toys R Us stores nationwide are expected to start liquidation sales today. The sales were supposed to start yesterday, but the company postponed them. There's a local branch of Toys R Us at 512 Cortez Road West in Bradenton. Now get this, strange twist, the man who founded Toys R Us, Charles Lazarus, passed away yesterday at the age of 94. His death comes a week after Toys R Us announced it'll shut down its U.S. operations. I'm sure psychologists will talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it's a strange twist. Another strange twist, I know my girls had these back in the day, but the company that makes the Bratz dolls, yeah. they've raised like $200 million. They're actually trying to help Toys R Us not have to sell all of the stores. Right? So that's another development that's in the making. And one more twist, KB stores are now going to start building. Yeah, isn't that strange? Yeah, so maybe there's a market there after all. It's a weird world this week in the world of toys. Yeah. All right, still ahead on Good Morning Sunco, some big changes for Walmart, how residents will soon be able to change the way that they shop. And one woman is grateful this morning how the Miami police were able to rescue her after she was trapped under her bed for six days. All right. Well, that's coming up. Here's story's still throwing me for a loop on that one. It really is. Here's a live look at Ed Smith Stadium. We're calling it Atlanta, Georgia, but we <laughs> promise that's Ed Smith Stadium. <laughs> we there's, not, Atlanta. there's Atlanta. <laughs> there we go. There's a Ferris wheel down there in Centennial Park in Atlanta. You're watching Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. When it comes to drinking, what do you think moderation is? The U.S. Dietary Guidelines define moderation as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. So what's a drink? The guidelines say a drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or a cocktail with 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Each contains the same amount of alcohol. Like to learn more? Visit drinkinmoderation.org. It's been about a month, and I can honestly say I've seen the change in me. I went from being a depressed girl who didn't want help to this happy, caring girl who loves helping other people. I just really hope that people that went through what I went through get the help that they need because their story is important and they are loved. Thank you so much for everything. Welcome back. A unique circus is coming to Sarasota this weekend. The Circus of the Voices, or Cirque de Voix. You can just use my French there. Only in town for three days. It features circus artists, the 100-person choir from Key Corral. Organizers say it's the only show like this right now in the country. So it's a highlight every year for the singers and the instrumentalists to be able to work with circus artists and for the circus artists to be able to work with live music, which is a rarity these days. So it's really an experience for all of the senses. All the musicians are local and are the circus stars from, come from across the world. This specific show features music from Danny Elfman and his film scores, and there are many. There will also be three shows 
total Friday, Saturday, and Sunday under the big top at Nathan Benderson Park behind the mall at UTC. Happening today, happy 10th anniversary to the Legacy Trail. Sarasota Parks will be celebrating with a huge free event later on today. The celebration starts at 4 o'clock today at Laurel Park in Nokomis. It's going to feature a live DJ, speaker, some giveaways, bike inspections, and so much more. All right. Well, it appears that Walmart wants to make a big change in the way that you shop in their stores. Let's find out more. ABC's Candace Gibson and Diane Macedo have details and Tech Bites. In today's Tech Bites, Walmart takes a major step towards smart shopping. The retail giant has filed several patents, ranging from drone shopping assistants to smart shopping carts. The technology could potentially do away with cashiers, stock clerks, packers, and shippers. A change is coming to Instagram. The feature called New Posts will allow you to choose when the app refreshes instead of just doing it on its own. The move will allow newer posts to appear at the top of your feed more frequently. And Google Assistant now lets you send money from a mobile device with a voice command. So the free service already works with both Android and Apple. As long as you have a Google Pay account, so if you want to pay back your friend, all you have to say is, hey Google, send Diane $20. Ooh, yeah. Do you have an account? I don't like the way this works. Ooh, I love this story. That's, Read it again. That's, that's, those are your tech bites. No, not that part. <laughs>
To learn what every woman needs to know about breast cancer, visit nbcf.org hope. We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 30. 70. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, restaurant guide, and more. Go to MySuncoast.com slash dining. We got to go around now. Caught on camera, Miami police going above and beyond to rescue an elderly woman. I'm live at Marina Jack in Sarasota, where thousands will be gathering here tomorrow at Marina Jack for a March for Lives rally. We're speaking to an organizer of that rally, and she tells us why exactly she's supporting this cause. And developing overnight, Congress avoids another shutdown. What that means for our economy right now on Good Morning Suncoast. You're watching Good Morning Suncoast at 530. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us here on Good Morning Suncoast. It is Friday, people. We have made it through the week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Webb. I'm Ray Collins. It is March the 23rd. Off to a nice start. And John says it should be a beautiful yeah. weekend, right, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're starting off a little bit cooler than we did 24 hours ago, though. That's the only thing. It's it's cool and crisp, I guess we could put it nicely outside right now. In some places, it's just darn right cold. Becky and Omayaka phoned in with a temperature there of 38 degrees at her place. Now she's normally a little bit cooler. She's in uh, kind of an area where the cool air pools, but nonetheless, temperatures certainly are in the low 40s in the inland areas, and we're soon to be in the upper 40s across uh, much of the uh, Gulf Coast and Sun Coast. Uh, we're looking at 52 degrees currently in Sarasota, 46 degrees in Bradenton Parish, the same 47 degrees Lakewood Ranch. 52 degrees in Venice. You don't think that's cold compared to yesterday. We're about seven degrees cooler than we were 24 hours ago at this time. No rain in today's forecast. Dry air warms quickly and that's what's going to happen this afternoon. We'll get up to temperatures that are warmer than yesterday at around 71. So it should be a nice day today, Ray. Very good. Thank you, John. Checking the roads right now. First off, 301 northbound. Some congestion there in Manatee County. Otherwise, pretty clear so far. That'll change as the morning progresses. Let's go farther south now on the maps of the northern half of Sarasota County. You'll notice that uh, University has some buildup around Lakewood Ranch on either side of I-75. Be aware of that also down by the Bayfront where Marla is right now. You'll see uh, extra traffic, folks slowing down to see Marla probably. Bee Ridge Road in the eastbound lane around Tuttle and Beneva. And then checking our final maps to the south. South County region checking mostly clear at 533. Well, history is being made this weekend all over the country. Organizers are expecting millions to take part in hundreds of rallies worldwide to help bring more awareness to gun violence and the need for better gun laws. Now, students from Stillman Douglas High School are spearheading the March for Our Lives. The Broward County School stepped up security measures this week with state troopers now at every campus entrance after a few separate incidents at the school. All of that, of course, in the wake of last month's math shooting there. Now, it could be one of the largest marches in history, with people turning out in Washington, D.C., and more than 800 other marches from California all the way to Japan. And some of Sarasota's very own are participating in the March for Our Lives rallies here tomorrow. And they will start from Marina Jack on the Bayfront. That's where Marla Spencer is right now. She joins us with a live update. Marla, good morning. Good morning, guys. I'm told close to 20,000 people will be marching and gathering and demonstrating right here at Marina Jack starting tomorrow morning. Now I'm told the March for Lives Sarasota rally is just one of hundreds across the globe where participants will be rallying against gun violence in schools. We spoke to the organizer of the March for Lives Sarasota rally. She tells me she's a mother who's had enough. She says it's the voices of mothers along with students who are going to help the, get the change and when that ch and it, when it comes to school safety and also gun violence. She says her aim, like many other mothers attending rallies across the country, are to help up uplift and also support the students who are speaking out against gun violence. I am a mom who does not want to fear sending my children to school. 
And so what I want is comprehensive conversation about gun sense, but I want it to go even further than that. I want us to talk about why something like this could even happen. What is at the root? And what I know as an expert, as someone that works specifically in grief and loss and trauma and emotional pain, I know that if we don't get to that root cause of these issues, everything else that we do in our community is just a Band-Aid. Now that rally that will be happening tomorrow morning will start at 10 o'clock and it'll wrap up at noon. Reporting live in Sarasota, I'm Marla Spence for ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Marla, for the latest on this story and breaking news and the forecast. Check out our app under My Suncoast or WWSB. Now to a bizarre rescue mission in Miami Beach. Police called to help an elderly woman who had been trapped underneath her bed for six days after a bad fall. Oh, as reporter Rosh Lowe wow. tells us, a worried neighbor called police. Uh, a woman that's like his mother, mm -hmm. haven't been answering the phone, hasn't been answering the door. That's Miami Beach police officer Pablo Gonzalez that we see on body camera video speaking to another officer, Wiz McCharles. A concerned individual um, it hasn't heard from his friend, um, someone who he treats as his mother in over five days. He's concerned, he calls police, we arrive. Senora! Senora! Cops call out and there's no response. They decide to come around the side of the building, the rear of the building, uh, where all the uh, apartments are, and uh, they start banging on windows. And then they spot her. We gotta go around now. She's still awake. She's still alive. Senora, better. Ahora vengo. Hey, let's go around now. Come on. The woman is 89 year old Violetta Pilgrim. This photo was given to us by a family friend. She was trapped under her bed. They were able to rescue an elderly female who had been lying trapped under her bed for six days. So let's stop for a moment and think about that. Six days, six days without food or water. An elderly woman trapped underneath her bed, desperately hoping and praying for help. Well, that help came in the form of two Miami Beach police officers who wouldn't give up and saved her life. She can choose. Start fire rescue on three. Senora, me oye? Senora. Where is she? She's right there. I can hear some of her talking. Oh. The video showing the victim has been blurred out, but you can hear the urgency in the officers' voices. Um, officers dragged that white uh, piece of concrete and they propped themselves above it and climbed into that unit uh, where he later, you know, raised the mattress, raised the bed frame and pulled Miss Pil Pilgrim from underneath that mattress. Violetta has been hospitalized, but she is recovering. The two officers shown here were awarded for their efforts. On the left is Officer Gonzalez. On the right is Officer Charles. She has a long road of recovery ahead of her, but she knows she has um, the Miami Beach Police Department now is an extended family. A family that didn't give up until a life was saved. Other news now. Overnight, Congress avoids another government shutdown, at least for now. With less than 24 hours to go before their deadline, lawmakers passed a massive spending bill. An after-midnight vote sends a $1.3 trillion spending package to the president's desk. The Senate voted 65 to 32. The plan keeps the government funded through September. It includes more spending for the military and domestic issues as well. Have a Facebook account? Well, then you could be one of the millions that this latest privacy scandal has affected. The latest in this case, an apologetic Mark Zuckerberg is speaking publicly for the first time since news broke that up to 50 million American users may have had their private information compromised by Cambridge Analytica. It's a research firm that accessed all those Facebook accounts improperly during the election. The Facebook co-founder is promising that users will soon be able to find out if their personal data was part of that breach. And I'm really sorry that this happened. We're going to go now and investigate every app uh, that has access to a large uh, amount of, of information from before we lock down uh, our platform. And Facebook, of course, could be facing a big class action lawsuit. And despite Zuckerberg's apologies, backlash from users does continue to grow. The hashtag delete Facebook now has thousands of retweets, ironically, over on Twitter.
Yeah. Well, today, Governor Rick Scott will announce February job numbers in Ocala. The governor is also going to be joining the groundbreaking ceremony for a new development project downtown that would include a new Hilton Garden Inn. Now, Scott says this project will create jobs and welcome more visitors to Central Florida. Nearly 1.5 million private sector jobs have been created since the governor took office. Hard to believe, but spring training is now winding down here on the Sun Coast. No. Hit the organ. No! <laughs> more baseball! Here's a live look right now at Ed Smith Stadium in Sarasota, where the Orioles have their final home spring training game tomorrow night at 6.05. Twins are in town from Fort Myers. But despite a month of good weather and only one rain out, there's been a dip in attendance in Sarasota. Meantime, the Pittsburgh Pirates, who are in Bradenton, average attendance at LeCom did drop also from last season. They've got four home, game left, four home games left there. The Orioles had their fifth sellout yesterday against the Red Sox. They set a franchise record in spring training attendance last year. Some fans say an earlier start is to blame for ticket uh, sales this year. Major League Baseball set opening day on March 29th for the first time to give players more off days during the regular season. It's not rain outs, and they still have quality teams, premium games, non-premium games. Um, there's just something with the timing, and I think they'll reevaluate it next year. Well, the Orioles did not give us their attendance average this year so far. Their last home game again tomorrow, and the Pirates' final home game will be on Monday. And if you haven't already checked out the Sarasota County Fair, you are running out of time. But according to our John Scalzi, this weekend could be a great last weekend to check it out. Today it's open from 2 to 11, tomorrow from noon to 11, and then Sunday, officially that last day, is open from 5 until 10 o'clock. A lot of good things this weekend. You got the fair, you got some baseball, you got the uh, circus. Circus, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm liking all the things that are on tap this weekend. Good mix. Still ahead, first alert traffic and. Game lovers, listen up. The new restaurant opening for a limited time that has Pac Man everything. I love this. You can just go right back to the 80s. Oh, I love Pac Man. Sweet. I love it so much. Very cool out there. Speaking of back of the 80s, here's John Scalzi. <laughs> <laughs> We love you! Rude. <laughs> we have uh, some very pleasant temperatures across the region and some very nice drive time conditions as well. We have low 50s on your commute out and on your commute back, upper 60s. I'm gonna go change my style. Be right back. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got a hundred road trips and some of the best are music to your ears like the Alabama Music Hall of Fame, or head over to Muscle Shoals and Fame Studios. Are you a star yet? My mama thinks so. Or if that's your stomach I hear grumbling, our barbecue is almost a religious experience. Food good here? Best in the country. Alabama's got 100 road trips. Which one you gonna take? Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied, and a caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs. Stop the crimes. <laughs> Who else has been taking your prescriptions? Keep your medicine and your family safe and secure. Mind your meds. To learn how we can help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. A promise was made. A promise that hit the beaches of Normandy. A vow that captured Iwo Jima. A contract that weathered Tet. A pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq. An IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. 
A promise was made to America's veterans. DAV fights to keep that promise, so all veterans and their families get the benefits and support they earn. For help, visit DAV.org. I am the resident district manager on the FAU campus for Chartwell. Whenever I see Haley, I do not see a person with a disability. I see a person with extraordinary abilities. Haley is always smiling. She's always on time. She gives fantastic customer service and is always focused on any job that she's given. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. Now your ABC7 first alert weather meteorologist John Scalzi. Looking at an air temperature coming in at 52 degrees, we have a dew point value coming in at 37. Low dew point value making it feel very comfortable, I think. Cool, crisp air in place, so nice sleeping weather. We're looking at 52 degrees, which will probably... Uh, probably settle down to around 49 to 47 degrees before we start to warm things up again with a little bit of daytime heating. North northeast wind comes in at about six. It's a nice gentle breeze today compared to um, the really brisk breeze. Windy conditions really we had day before yesterday and breezy conditions we had yesterday. 52 Sarasota, 48 degrees in Bradenton Parish. Lakewood Ranch now at 50. Northport at 49, 47 in Arcadia. 48 in Wachula, 54 in Inglewood and Venice, and Longbow Key comes in at 57 degrees. We'll warm nicely today, all the way up to about 71 as we head into the afternoon under full sunshine. Not much in the way of any kind of a rain chance for really the extended range. I was looking at some of the long range computer models, and I think we're going to have to go to probably next Friday or Saturday before we even have a hint of a rain shower chance in the forecast. Uh, by the time we get to noon, we'll be in the uh, mid 60s. It'll be a beautiful day to, to, to take a walk and enjoy your lunch break and then head into the evening tonight. Dining out fresco should not be a problem. Maybe a light sweater might be required as temperatures will start to fall off after sunset pretty quickly because the air is just so dry out there. Taking a look at Titan radar, that dry air is very apparent on radar. Not a drop of rain, not a spot of drizzle, nothing across the entire state. In fact, it's hard to even find a cloud across the state at this hour. Um, fire danger is high, especially in Manatee County and Charlotte County. Sarasota, not so much. These fire dangers are kind of determined by a number of things, one of which is the amount of available fuel to support a wildfire and how much fuel uh, how much energy could be released by that fuel at the head of a fire should it start. And uh, right now the uh, available fuel sources in Manatee County and uh, Charlotte County are a little higher than they are in Sarasota. A lot of sunshine around today. The dry air indicated here by the water vapor imagery as this kind of tan colorization. That'll be around with us throughout the day today, tomorrow, Sunday. It's going to be a spectacular weekend, I think, to be out and about and do all those kinds of things you want to do outdoors when the weather's a little cooler. You might not be wanting to do that, but certainly it'll be gorgeous this weekend. Weather highlights show that high pressure ridge continuing to stay with us right straight into the weekend, switching our winds to a more easterly direction that will allow for the warm up to take place. North wind coming in at about 5 to 10 today, choppy on Bay and Inland waters. And the forecast, well, it just looks fantastic. Daytime high today tops out at about 71 tomorrow, 76, 80 on Sunday. And then as we head into next week, we stay in the 80s. Back to you. All right, we like all of those numbers. Let's take a look outside your first alert traffic out there this morning. Not too much that is going on out there. We do have some construction that's happening on 75 right there that's slowing things down, especially right there on the intersection of State Road 64 and 75. A little slow going this morning. Some slowdowns on 301 that are really pretty typical for around this time of the morning as well. Slowdowns on the corner of 301 and 70. If you're heading into Sarasota County, those roads are looking pretty decent out there. A couple slowdowns to mention on University Parkway. That's already starting to get a little congested.
posted this morning. If you're going a little farther south in that county as well, not too much to see. Clark and 75, that's another one that's starting to slow down. But as you head farther in the south, if you're going to Port Charlotte or Punta Gorda or Northport or Venice, anywhere farther south, those roads are still looking pretty decent out there at 549 this morning with your first alert traffic. And the Friday phrase is slowdowns. Slowdowns. <laughs> Every time I do so many things, <laughs> one word that I use so much in traffic. You'll find it's like, it. It's you'll a coffee drinking you'll game. Stick, yeah, you'll stick with it. That's right. If you love the game of Pac-Man like I did, did you love it too? I loved it. I played it all the time. Mm -hmm. Here's a place to show that love. That's right. Check this out. The restaurant Bread and Butter. Okay, you got to go to Honolulu, but I think it's worth it. They <laughs> held a grand opening this week for their new pop-up cafe called the pack store nice. a japanese company picked the alamona restaurant to open their very first game themed cafe in the country on the pack menu pac-man pancakes pac-man pepperoni pizza pac-man garlic shrimp pac-man velvet cake you get the idea we do have a 10 uh, pac-man themed menu like a shape like a pac-man or a ghost and if you order and you can get a one token to play pac-man to compete who's going to be the highest score to make, and then you can get a prize. Oh my gosh, I so want to go there. If you feel like yeah. flying to Honolulu, you can actually check out the Pack Store pop-up. It's going to be open until May 31st. If I went to Honolulu, I wouldn't stay indoors, that's for sure. Oh, well, I would stop there, <laughs> yeah. on my way to the beach. Oh, I, yeah. I love it. That was, that's the extent of my video game knowledge is Pac-Man. I know, Pac-Man, that was the one Donkey Kong we grew up on, too. Yeah. I loved all that yeah. stuff, yeah. We're going to update the day's top news headlines after this on Good Morning Suncoast. Stay right there. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. My name is Stephen Jaffe. Uh, the law firm's name is Farmer Jaffe. One of the beautiful things about Julius is he's always smiling and it becomes infectious. The fact that Julius has a disability has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of work that he's done. Just a, a great person you want on your staff. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.com employflorida.com Coast Guard, we are taking on water. The United States Coast Guard. They secure our ports and waterways, protect our environment, keep drugs away from our kids, and save lives. It's dangerous work. And in times of triumph or tragedy, the Coast Guard Foundation answers the call to support Coast Guard members and their families. Learn more at CoastGuardFoundation.org. Thank you. You got a king? Go fish! In your face, in your face! It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. If you're looking for a rewarding job you'll love, good news. The perfect job is just a click away. Go to MySunCoast.com slash job of the day. It's that easy. Stop searching and go to MySunCoast.com slash job of the day to find the perfect job for you. 
Well, here are some of the top stories that we're following for you today on Suncoast. Some neighbors in Sarasota plan to petition city commissioners to let them keep their street name. The city wants to change the name from Novus Place to Nova Street. Officials say it'll make it consistent with the rest of Nova Street on the other side of Tuttle. But well, the residents say it hasn't been a problem yet for any emergency responders or package deliveries. Plus, history is being made this weekend all across the country as students from Stoneman Douglas High in Broward County are heading up there for are heading up to Washington D.C. for the March for Our Lives. It's a worldwide protest to call attention to gun violence and call for new and better gun laws. And you still have one more chance to see the Baltimore Orioles this spring in Sarasota. They host the Minnesota <laughs> Twins tomorrow and the Rays today. So there's two more games. The, they came back to beat the Red Sox yesterday in a sold-out show. Thursday at Ed Smith Stadium. That's right. You had a nice seat for that, too. It was a oh, beautiful day out yeah, there as well. Coming up in the next hour, both Florida centers are representing the state to introduce a brand new gun control bill. We're going to tell you what it, can, what it contains and how it could really be a game changer. It's unique when we can say both Florida senators because one's a Democrat, Bill Nelson, one's yes. a Republican, Marco Rubio, but in this one, they are teaming up together in a rare show of bipartisan support. It is nice to see those moments out there. So we've got a big weekend for you. You've got the circus in town again. It's called Cirque du Vois. Cirque du Vois going right back to our high school French classes. That's we finally, finally get to it. use our French again. Should have taken Spanish. Right? I know, right? Me too. That Kids take Spanish in high school. <laughs> you live in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Also, the, uh, the county fair continues this weekend. Wraps up, in fact. And also, we've got the baseball game today and tomorrow it right is. there. Right on cue at Ed Smith Stadium. <laughs> a big weekend, and we're going to have John Scalzi. He is going to tell you just how beautiful this weekend is going to be. We've got that for you in the 6 a.m. hour of Good Morning Suncoast right here on ABC7.